Welcome. Welcome. Today we have reached day 22 of our 30-day sunrise yoga challenge. I'm Christine Marie, and I am so delighted that you are joining me. Whether you're doing this in the morning, in the evening, whether you're doing this 10 years from now, the, the film quality will be so low that you won't be doing this 10 years from now. Um, but um, I am grateful because you are upset in your life by engaging with something different each day. When we do something different, we get different results in our life and you are doing that. And when we do something different, it actually allows us to align with our life, with our mission, with our purpose on this planet even more easily. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Today's practice is dedicated to the digestive system, to looking at the yoga poses that are going to help activate and treat and preserve your digestive system. So we will cover about, let's see, about five poses today. And basic reminder, as usual, journal, recommit, why are you doing this? Write it down, re-remember, and notice how you said it when you started. Take a look at your day one and how you wrote your commitment and how you wrote it today. It's so cool to see the difference. Let's get started with, of course, our grounding, and then we'll do go into Fountain of Youth. Ah, so acknowledging that connecting moment between your root, which is at the bottom of your spine, what we're sitting on, that that circle that's connecting us, that ring that is, is touching the earth. Think of that connection and the earth and the energy, the back and forth energy, the by way communication of energy between the earth and your body. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So the more we let the earth support us, the more the earth supports us that is powerful. We're not doing these exercises alone. We're not doing these poses alone. We're not having these awakenings alone in this, these holistic moments of healing through yoga alone. It is in partnership and co-creation with the earth, with all of the people around us, even if we don't ever know their names or speak to them. We're all in this together. So letting ourselves be supported, let's bring the backs of the palms to our knees in the position of receiving. Let's sit erect through our spine, which means that my chin is going to point down just a bit. My forehead will point forward and it will be the top of my head that is the peak of me. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Inhale. Exhale. Notice that each inhale brings us a little bit closer to ourselves. Inhale. And each exhale allows us to release that which no longer serves, whether we do that subconsciously or consciously. Hands to heart. Let's begin. Fountain of Youth. Five Tibetan rituals. In my radius. Yes. Okay. Two feet pressing into the ground, allowing that bilateral communication, bi-directional communication. Shoulders pinned to towards the heart, protecting. 
protecting, getting that in the habit of protecting this front side body and its and its special joints, specifically the shoulders, and um, what the what these are really um, connected to. When we think of this shoulder framework, as when we think of the shoulders pinning down towards the heart, it creates a protective framework that keeps our chest from from arching forward. It keeps us in alignment. It keeps, it allows an, a very light tightening in the abs. And it um, enhances and reminds us passively of that spiral, that spiral that is spiraling through, from, from the feet, through the ankles, around and around and around. And that spiral keeps us when we're thinking of the spiral coming around, then we're more likely to stand on our legs than to, than to scoop or to push out. Yes. And that spiral is happening there. And that same spiral is happening through the shoulders. And that's what spirals our arms out. That's why pinning the shoulders is so important. And if you're doing this every day and you're not thinking of the shoulders pinned, then they will you will actually loosen up the ligaments that are joining the shoulders and that will cause injuries. And that if you're going to do 30 days of yoga each day, you must do it in alignment and in a protective way. Okay, enough about that. Clearly, ugh, I just needed to say it. Okay, so pinning the shoulders down towards the heart, we're going to root to rise through the shoulders. So the shoulders root down. And because of that, our arms can stretch much farther than they could have if they didn't have that rootedness through the shoulder joints. And now our wings are open and let's take the five. Chin is parallel to the ground. Gaze is on the ground. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Bring everything together. Eyes closed. Let the spin catch you. Hmm. Camel. Same thing. Protective framework. Eyes of the elbows. Again, that spiral makes the eyes of the elbows spiral forward as well. And inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Pushing down through those um, tops of the feet. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale. J. Today I'm going to do the modified version because that's where my body is. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Inhale. Exhale. Five. Tabletop. Again, eyes of the elbow pointing forward, shoulders pinned towards the heart. <laughs> um, feet are a little bit less than hip width apart, and hands are a little bit more than hip width apart. Here we go. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale. One. Again, I'm doing the modified version. Inhale. Exhale. Two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, five, and finally, upward facing dog to downward facing dog, 
protective grip on the hands like you're palming a soccer ball or a basketball, feeling energy through each joint of the finger that is pressing into the ground and feeling that grip like like you're palming a football or a sock or a basketball. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to do the modified version again. I had a very, a very um, physically rigorous day yesterday, and so I've got to be gentle with my body. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale. In Inhale. Exhale. And the last one. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. Our body's warm. Our upper body, our middle body, our lower body. One more inhale. Marking the movement from that to the next thing and exhale om or large monster breath one more inhale and exhale om or large monster breath ah okay so Let's get into these digestive friendly pose, these digestive system friendly poses. We're going to start with creating that tourniquet effect of cutting things off and then letting the blood flow through. And we're going to do that with eagle pose. To get to eagle pose, and I'm going to show it sideways for the first, for the first side. We're going to scoop down to chair pose. So we'll tip our seat back. And we can lean farther back, the farther forward we lean, shoulders pinned. <laughs> and to get that distance, we'll start from the ground. We'll gather energy from the earth, just collecting it as we push our seat back. And we'll reach up and out and up and out and up and out. Do a slight scoop with the seat, with the butt. And letting ourselves, letting our seat come towards the ground, reaching through those two hands. Gaze can be through the hands, forward or onto the ground. And from here, we're going to come up, and that was a slight warm-up for eagle. And then we're going to just bring our knees to bend. But this time, we're bending down a wall, so our back stays straight. And I'm going to put my hands on my hips. I'm going to kick up with my right thigh and it's going to cross over my left thigh. That is eagle. You can stay here. That is eagle. Now with my right arm, I'm going to put out my right arm, put out my left arm. Yes. And I'm going to, the same way that I looped my right thigh over my left thigh, I'm going to loop my right arm under my left arm and let them be together. This is Eagle. You got it. You can stay here. Next step of Eagle, if you want, is that you can bring the left arm behind the right hand and push into those shoulders, pushing them towards the heart and you are an Eagle. And you can hook the right leg around the right, the right ankle foot around the left half muscle. Always thinking of bringing the two knees to the center and the two elbows to the center. And lastly, you can bring the hands to clasp. There's eagle. I'm falling. <laughs> okay. <sighs> they come back. And I'm going to do the modified version. Okay. And to come in, you come in as gracefully as you came out, bringing the leg up to straight, bringing the arms to uncross. And everybody meets at Tadasana. Let's do the other side. So this I'm going to show it on FAS. 
So I'm going to bend both legs as if I was bending down a wall to keep that straightness in the spine. We did the warm up with chair so that we could loosen up this area and warm it up just a little bit more. And now I'm going to kick forward. You know what, honestly, I have arrived, I'm home. This is enough to be the pose as well. You could cross the left thigh over the right thigh. This is enough. You bring the left arm under and you bring the right arm, the right upper arm on top, crossing at the elbows. This is enough. I have arrived. I am home, pinning the shoulders towards the heart. You can bring the left leg back. And now the knees are pointing not away, not to the other side. They're pointing towards the center. You're creating that twist and you're creating that other twist here. So your elbows were crossed and now all they're doing is coming up towards each other. Lastly, you can hook that left ankle around the right calf. You can bring the two arms that were crossed, you can bring them up and then clasp the hands. Hmm. Feeling that twist, feeling that tourniquet effect of fresh blood through the body and gracefully coming in out the same way that you came in, meeting at Tadasana, letting that fresh blood flow through the body and preparing your body for more twists. So we first twisted the upper half of the body and the lower half of the body. And now let's go to triangle pose and get into the digestive system. So we're going to just, you know, I like to get to warrior two to go to triangle. I like to get there through downward facing dog. So we're just going to do two arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. We're going to put the two hands on the ground and walk back to plank. Push back the downward facing dog. And I'm going to bring my right heel towards the sky, making sure that my hips stay square to the ground. And then I'm going to bring my right knee through the center of the body. And I'm going to place my right foot between my two hands. I'm going to corkscrew my foot so that the flat left side knife's edge of the foot, the weight is going into that flat left side. And I'm going to anchor through my two feet. And now I'm going to open up to warrior two, widening the pose. Now, from warrior two, I'm just going to straighten the legs. This is triangle pose. I have arrived. I am home. Pulling as if somebody's pulling my arm. This is also triangle pose. I've arrived. I am home. From here, you're just going to bring the arms so that they are making a line through the center of the body. I have arrived. I am home. You can use a bolster, something to bring the earth closer to you to balance on so that you can create a straight line between your fingertips. We're on the right side. So your left fingertips are pointing towards the sky. The right hand is rooting to the ground. As you get more open or perhaps stronger, because it's strengthening and stretching at the same time, you'll reach towards the ground. What's really important is that you don't bring this left shoulder towards the ground. You wanna feel like you're sandwiched between two panes of glass. So you're, there's actually an opening and an unfolding. Let me show you the section view of this pose. So I'm here, okay, and I'm straightening, and I'm bringing this open, and I'm not going like this. I'm gonna open up here through this this part wants to be stacked on top of my shoulders it wants to open up and stack and then then we reach down from there so you see when i do it correctly i can't 
actually reach the ground. Not today. But that's triangle pose. And now from triangle pose, you're just gonna bring the left hand to give a high five to the right hand. And we're going to anchor down again. So I need these pillows. We're gonna anchor down again to come to reverse triangle. So I'm gonna use the pillows to have contact with the earth. There's my rooting to rise. And then I'm gonna rise up and twist here. There's my triangle on the other side. This is called reverse triangle. Again, thinking about those panes of glass, squeeze between those panes of glass, but it's gonna be a lot harder to find flatness because you're literally twisting. Anchoring into the right foot and the left foot on the ground, making sure the legs are have a slight bend to them rather than being totally straight. Mm. Feels so good. And coming back to triangle. Bringing the right arm up, reaching up and out, up and out, up and out. The left arm is reaching back. And let's come to warrior two. Starfish. Everything is going to... So we were here in warrior two on the right. Starfish rooting into the ground, shoulders pinned, reaching up through our fingertips, and we'll go right to the other side. We already have that stance ready. Starfish, I mean, excuse me, warrior two. So I'm in warrior two, not too far back, not too far forward. And now I'm going to straighten the legs, bring the legs to straight pushing through, there is so much energy pushing through my feet, staying in, in connection with the earth so that I'm not doing this alone. It is me channeling the energy of the earth that's gonna make this pose stronger and myself stronger. Not me, we. Someone's pulling my body towards my left foot and I'm going to tip over backing the shoulders, making a line, thinking about that sandwiching effect. Two panes of glass squeezing me in both directions. One facing my front side body, this side, and one squeezing my back side body, bringing the earth to me so that I can root, root to stretch, Root to rise, root to rise in the other direction. Root to stretch towards the ground. And my right arm is gonna reach towards the sky, pinning through that left shoulder. Give my left hand a high five, and I'm gonna twist my hips. I'm gonna reach up, bringing my left foot to anchor, left hand to anchor on the ground. I'm gonna reach up to reverse triangle. Feeling that stretch for my digestive system. But it's easier to stretch the insides, the inner stuff, as long as we stretch the outer stuff first. That's why we warmed our way into this stretching moment, into this digestive system. Left fingers reach out, out, out. out. Let's come back to triangle. One more time. And there we go. Let's now bring our body to face over our left, our left foot. And we're just going to bring two hands down and let's come to tabletop. From tabletop, we're going to bring our body all the way down. And we're going to take bow pose. So we twisted our digestive system our, our, in our center body. And now we're going to stretch that center body. Bring two feet towards the butt. We've done this pose before. We did it in the early days, in the single digit days. 
And you're going to grab your left ankle with your left hand, your right ankle with your right hand. You're also welcome to grab your left foot with your left hand, your right foot with your right hand. And from here, we're going to exhale everything out. And then we're going to inhale. We're going to reach, 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 reach to the sky. And as you, as your bow gets a little bit more flexible, you can always move your hands down your legs to grab lower on your legs. So I'm grabbing now on my, practically on my shins. And I'm letting my body, I'm making a bow pose. I'm arching through the center of my body. My gaze is up towards the sky. It can be forward. It can be towards the ground. My knees want to be off the ground. And exhale, relax. Ah, chin is on the ground. We're doing chin on the ground because we're not going to take, um, we don't need to do left ear and then right ear. We're going to go right into the next pose after this. Okay, two feet come towards the butt. Think of bringing the knees together. That's to protect them. Think of the knees wanting to be together. They're yearning for each other. Grab those ankles, left ankle, left hand, right ankle, right hand. And let's exhale and push in. Inhale, pushing into that middle body, rooting to rise through the center of the body. Mm. You can even rock a little bit. Mm. Okay, exhale, coming out of it. Let's immediately turn over. We're going to do wind removing pose. The big kahuna of digestive system poses. This pose is literally called wind removing pose because it removes the wind, the gas from your body by pressing onto um, the by stretching first the lower intestine, then the upper intestine in just the right way. Save yourself the visit to the doctor's office when you've got gas. Um, they're just gonna go like this and push down on the same places that we're pushing down on with our legs. So let's do it. Right leg is going to, right knee is gonna bend first to the sky, then it's gonna bend towards the head and it's gonna angle it's going to point towards the right shoulder tip. You're going to wrap this shin with your right arm and press it towards your body. Breathing. It's really important to breathe or else nothing can release. And when we breathe with this constriction on our body, it's really good for the body because it, it allows parts of the body that don't get to stretch as much. It allows them to uh, fill up, to get some, some stretching, like micro stretching through different body parts. When we constrict one, two parts of the body, three parts of the body, and breathe into that constricted place. Okay, right foot is going to go walk its way back to meet the left foot, Mwah. kiss. And now left foot, left knee comes first towards the sky. Then it's gonna point towards that left shoulder. We're gonna hug the left shin with the left forearm and press, breathing. Mm. Breathing and letting release what needs to release. We're also doing a little bit of work with the hip flexors, and that's where we keep a lot of emotions. So we're also stretching that. Okay. Walking the left foot down the body to meet the right. Kiss. Mwah. Two feet, walk two feet up. So two knees point towards the sky. Now two knees point towards the heart. We're going to wrap both knees with our shins and press. 
Oh. Pressing, wind removing. And from here, bring the feet first to flat, then walk them down to Shavasana. Hmm. In just 30 minutes, you have given your body white a cleansing, a cleansing, just like a rag. And when you rinse out a rag, you twist it and the things spill out. It pushes them out. We did a lot of twisting today. And there is no way we could do this series of poses if we had not, if today was day one, this is a day 22 of poses. The great thing about video is you can always rewind. If there's something that you got choked on for a moment, step out of the pose, pause the video, put the video on 0.25 and slow it way, way, way down. Make it work for you. If you come to class with me, you know I will stop the class to make sure that you're in alignment, to make sure that you're working with your body and your needs. I'm breathing through it all. Okay. Let's wiggle the toes, the fingers, the ankles, the wrists, the legs, the arms. Let's bring all of our weight to the right side of the body. I have to go to the, I can bring it to the right side too, even though I'm going to face the wall. And let's push up through the left hand, pushing against the ground. That final, that last moment to use the protective grip. Seated in easy pose, uh, acknowledging the journey we just took. Mm. Hands to heart. And if you're going to sleep, I should have mentioned you should flip over to the left side rather than the right. Right is activity, left is being. We need both. Thank you for joining us today on this 30-day Sunrise Yoga Challenge where we unleash this force that's coming through and all we're doing is opening the door and letting it out, unleashing the magic of yoga through the physical body through the emotional body on the left, the mental body on the right, and the spiritual intuitive all around. Mm, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you from me and thank you from yourself to you. And thank you for every person that you're gonna interact with on this planet today, the energy that you're gonna put out the different energy that you're gonna put out today because of these moments you gave yourself. Nothing changes if nothing changes. Wishing you joy, ease, space, and grace. Namaste.